So everyone, in this session, we will learn how to create application load balancer using Terraform modules. So I have created a code for you guys and also I have pushed same code to GitHub repository which is available publicly. You can download and modify the variable and you can use for your environments. Um, I will guide you uh, step by step. Module name is demo ALB US REST one. Whatever you can use the module name. Resource is my Terraform AWS module. A ALB AWS I'm using default module. This is version of the module. I'm using it dot seven dot zero. Uh, name is equal to I'm using variable as much as possible because if you guys download the code and you can use very easily without change anything. Okay, just only update the variables. Subnet is also is the module dot demo VPC US West one because I have created the VPC from the Terraform module, so that's I using the my Terra um, my VPC mod module name. So by default, this module is creating security group. I just say you don't need to create security group. I will create security group myself. So I just previous video, I created the security group here um, and I allow the 40 and port 80 and 443. And um, this is my the module name. I just go back to my um, this file again. The module name is same demo DLB SG US West one. Okay, and VPC ID is equal to uh, also, I use the module to creation the um, VPC. So that's the reason I just use the module dot demo uh, underscore VPC US West one. This is my VPC ID and ideal timeout is 90 seconds. There's I add the added a listener at T and I would like to redirect it to 443. In last video, I created the ACM certificate manager um, because it's required if you want to redirect, then you should have a uh, HTTPS <coughs> uh, domain. Uh, to redirect or maybe you have a, a ACM certificate that redirect to 82, 82 443. So also added adding the uh, HTTP listeners, the port is 443 and uh, protocol is HTTPS and certificate ARNs. In last session, we created the certificate and we use the a resource AWS ACM certificate and we use the name cert. I can see you here. So this is the cert name. So I just use that sar.ar and, and target index is zero and I need to also add a target group. So prefix name is target group, whatever you can use dev production staging or sandbox. In my, situ my situation, I'm using prefix for the demo purpose. Uh, backend protocol is HTTP, backend protocol is HTTP. And backend port is, I'm using the variable and inside the variable, the port is 80. I will show you, give me one second. This is my variable file. And you guys can see demo HTTP port is HTTP 80. Okay, again go back to my this file. So target type is IP. Basically, I'm using uh, IP target group. If uh, you will use the ECS in in future and if ECS for get based, then you should have IP based. If you are using ECS uh, EC2 based, then you should have type of EC2 or instance. Maybe instance type. Okay, but in our case, I'm using IP. There's a few health checks. Uh, the health check is true. Interval is 30 second path is slash. This is health health check path path of your container if you use the ECS. Again, this is the port 80 and this is the threshold of my uh, health check target group and this protocol is 80 and mature is 200. Okay. This is the my whole uh, ALPTF file. Before doing anything, I would like to uh, Terraform in it. I initialize the Terraform because I'm I have just created the newly a module. You can see this is the green alb.tf. So it it's done. There's no any error. So now Terraform plan. So there's no any error. So I'm going to push my code adding alb for demo. Okay, comment. Again, I'm using Terraform Cloud. I push the code into my Git and uh, Git is connected with my Terraform Cloud and you guys can see here in the adding ALB demo. One more thing, uh, if you are creating the um, uh, any public or private load balancer, then you should have two subnets. If you have a one subnet, you cannot create in the single, single, single subnet application load balancer, either internal or either external. Uh, you should have a two load balance uh, two subnet groups for the load balancer so i have a two subnet group already public subnets i will show you oh, one second you can see here the i'm using the subnet is this this is i'm creating two subnet so 
so that's the reason I will show you on here so this is my AWS VPC click on VPC uh, VPC is, sorry subnets and uh, you guys can see here there is two public subnet public west 1c and public west 1a i'm using both for the load balancer go back to my again terraform screen so this plan is finished so now i need to confirm and apply sometime it will take a bit longer but hopefully it will done within one and two minutes yeah at the moment there's no any load balancer i will show you and my screen is creating right now provisioning because I just confirmed and apply because it's created you can see it LV is creating uh, ALV is creating also that's the reason is provisioning previously previously it wasn't there so yeah. once you click here you can see the name also I use the demo ALV yeah and if you go with the tags definitely you will get a tag tag is equal to demo ALV you say some because I use that tag if you want use that you can use different tag go back to again my uh, terraform third three resources are still applying um, yeah. let's wait and we will see one has been created you can see here if you want to expand and see the detail then you can easily expand your uh, diagnostics you can see what happened in this plan easily you can um, review in detail what is the security group name what is the acm name and what is the type of the target group and uh, whatever you can see and you can see very easily the prefix is 80 and prefix is uh, prefix and port is 80 and the protocol is HTTPS you can see each and everything is here which we mentioned on our Terraform file so still this is still in applying sometime it may take longer but hopefully it will be done let me check on my this screen still is provisioning I would like to no listener at the moment. Let's wait and see and what happened. Target group again. It's creating the all the configuration. SG group subnets. These are two subnet. Both are public subnet. Name of my tags. Okay and you can see create and delete whatever timeout this is a default i never use added this timeout this is the come from the modules i'm using a free tier account of the terraform cloud uh, sometime it's taking long because free if you go with the premium uh, uh, tiers then definitely um, you you never face this type of issue because uh, you will be get a dedicated um, resources to create the uh, you know stuff on your aws so in our situation here is the shared resources you can see immediately is creating it's created four resources and let me go and see again so is active status i will check on listeners so there's http https so https is also you know redirect the tls certificate and uh, http is port 80 and forwarding to request my http listener uh, i will go and show you the my um, tg target group let me refresh yeah this is you can see prefix is the name of the target group whatever you can change it if you need mm. Click on this target group and you can see the health HTTP and health check 5 second at T port and 3 second and 200 5 say 5 consecutive health check success and success code is 200 so uh, it, it looks like all created according to my needs uh, thank you so much for watching see you again bye